Hi everyone and welcome back to another tutorial. In this short video, I'm going to be showing you how you can create this split text reveal animation. So let's jump straight into it. So we'll start with a blank layout, right click layout blank, then we'll right click format background and select a dark solid. I'm going to select this one, which is nearly black. Click on the text box in the drawing section, click anywhere and type the words you want. I'm going to choose white and I'm going to choose the font Poppins, make it 60 point, bold and align it to the middle. Align center, arrange, align middle. Now we want to cut the text into a top and bottom piece. I'll press Ctrl D to duplicate the slide. Then I'll add a rectangle by clicking in the drawing section and clicking on rectangle, drawing it anywhere and dragging it down. When you get halfway, you'll see the dashed lines appear. And these are smart guides to show you it's exactly halfway. Now I can select both of these, go to shape format, merge shapes and subtract. And now we have our bottom half. Control D again. Now we're going to add a rectangle and get the top half. Same again, select everything, shape format, merge shapes, subtract. Control X or cut. We'll go on to the next slide, Control V and paste. And there's our text. And it's in two pieces, so we can animate exactly as we want. Now we'll add the line. And for this, I just want a four point white line. So I'll click on line, hold down shift to keep it straight, drag it across as long as we want, change it to four point and white, then align it to the middle. Arrange, align, center, range, align, middle. That looks good. Now let's add the animation. So for the top part, we'll need to add a black box behind the text. And this is so that when the bottom text animates, we can't see it come over the text. It looks like it's coming from underneath. So I'll go to home, drawing, draw out a rectangle. Just make sure it's tall enough to cover the text when it's animating, that's big enough. I'm going to fill this in nearly black, the same color as the background with shape outline, no outline. Now I'll drag it into place. We want it to be just above the line. Again, the smart guide snapped it into place perfectly. Right click, center back, hold down shift, click on the text so they're both selected and then control G to group. Now I have the top piece with a black panel behind it. I'm now going to go to the slide, control D to duplicate. This slide four here is going to be the bottom part of the text revealing and slide three is gonna be the top part of the text revealing. So we'll go to slide three, delete the bottom part and I'm going to draw a black box here. Shape fill with the background color, shape outline, no outline. Now you can drag the box up so it's just below the white line and you can use the cursor keys for some fine pixel adjustment to get it exactly in the right place. Then you can click on the top, go to animations and choose float in. Nice. I want this to be 1.25 and happen after previous. So if we play that. Great. Now let's add the bottom part. So we'll go on to the next slide. For this, we can just add float in, but we want it to float down, not up. So we'll go to effect options and choose float down. That one works already because we've already added the black box behind the top part of the text. So now all we want to do is change the line animation to make it wipe off, not on. And so for this, we can go to exit, wipe and choose from right. And we want to go to the animation pane and make that the last thing to happen. 1.25 duration after previous and a small delay of 0.5 seconds. So now when we run that, the text will reveal down and the line will wipe off. That looks good. Finally, we just need to go to slide three, transitions, set to advance after 0 seconds, so it moves automatically to the next one and we're done. Thanks very much for watching. If you like the video, please hit the like button. If you want to see more, hit subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. And if you want to master PowerPoint and create stunning slides, I have courses covering everything you need to know. 
The link is in the description below.